Hello, my name is Alyssa Tong, and this is my video project for the Bio 331 Summer I course. The species that I will be discussing and the one that I observed is the black crowned night heron as seen in the photo. Its scientific name is the Nyctocorax nyctocorax, and the specific action that was observed is a foraging feeding behavior. Just a little disclaimer before I show the behavior. Most of the feeding for the species occurs at night, but due to my schedule, I wasn't able to film it. So a lot of the videos that I took ended up like this one with a lot of sedentary behavior. The following clip is uh, the actual foraging behavior where you can observe the stand and wait tactic. The bird stays crouched in one low position <coughs> at the shallow edges of the lake and occasionally will strike its beak into the water as a method for feeding known as gleaning. Its long pointed beak moves quickly to capture small organisms off the top of the lake. In this photo, you can see the bird pulling its beak out of the water. The depth of the lake where it is standing is approximately the length of the beak. <laughs> After the night heron was finished feeding, it flew off as seen in the next photo. Okay. Following this is another clip where which is a better video of what the foraging behavior looks like. This is what appears to be a snowy egret that was also seen at the same lake. It walks slowly along the edges of the lake in the shallowest part, almost identical to the black crowned night heron, and it occasionally stops for less than a second to feed from organisms at the bottom of the lake. After all of these observations were recorded, the next step was to find research on the specific behavior to answer Tinbergen's four questions, which you can see on the next picture. They are, how does the behavior get elicited? How does the behavior change with age, experience, and the environment? How did evolution contribute to this certain behavior? How does behavior help the organism or species survive? Each one is based off of causation, ontogeny, phylogeny, and adaptation, respectively. So answers to these questions were found in the following articles. For the first question, it is seen in the article that is cited for this one, in which the methods by which animals search for food determine in large part how often and what kinds of prey they encounter. More specifically, plant species composition and climate affect the availability of prey as resources for these bird species. The second one shows how feeding behavior was favored because of the social because of the environment and social facilitation. The third one is influenced by how there is variation in availability of prey, which causes there to be no specific fixed or stereotype behavior, which is seen in <coughs> the when their results contradicted what I observed and their results showed that snowy egrets and black crowned night herons only had one bird that showed these behaviors out of thousands and more the sit and wait and walking slowly feeding tactic finally there is the reasons for why these birds feed specifically at night and this is due to their suprachismatic nucleus pacemaker and daytime feeding dramatically affects the phase shape and amplitude of body temperature levels. okay so thank you for listening and i hope you enjoyed this presentation